Hey guys, this is King Thomas William bringing you more Armenian campaign videos. Uh, as will be recalled, uh, I have two massive rebellions, uh, one in Armenia and in one in Artropatini. Uh, so I'm going to have to deal with them soon if uh, I want any chance of not losing money. So I'm going to uh, take three horse archer units out of my capital. Uh, it's going to lower their, uh, the city's uh, public order, so I'm going to just move the tax rate down to high. It's gonna, they're still unhappy, but they're not going to revolt. Alright, so I'm going to deal with this army, or this rebellion first, because it's uh, more important to me right now. Uh, I've got this general's bodyguard down here just building watchtowers. Uh, for this exact reason, to watch out for rebellions. Um, my cities are still uh, currently building stuff. And actually I'm going to send uh, my two horse archer units from Faraspa to this army to uh, bolster its men. And I'm going to attack this rebellion right here. Uh, they got two archers two peasants, one eastern infantry, and a horse archer. So, yeah, I'm not really worried about this army. I'm gonna route it pretty easily. Average victory, still a victory. So that's one rebellion down. Um, I'm going to send this army back into my capital just to retrain it for one turn. Then I'm gonna send it against this rebellion right here. Now see, what the rebels do, if you have any watchtowers near them, they're gonna take them. I don't know, they apparently like to just take watchtowers for some reason. Alright, so I'm gonna move my uh, faction air back up. And try and make like a pincer move against these rebels. Uh, Alright, and turn. Ah, Scythia. So they're offering me trade rights, I'm going to accept. Uh, have up map information. Yes, they do. Alliance, please say yes. Oh. Alright, so they deny my, uh, alliance. I don't really care. I'm probably not going to attack them, like, at all, until I've conquered, like, the Middle East. I don't want to expand into Europe until I'm, like, ready and uh, have built up my armed forces to like uh, heavy spearmen and Armenian legionnaires because Armenia's infantry right now is pretty much crap. Alright, so all the buildings have been built in my settlements um, in my capital. I'm not gonna build anything just yet. I'm gonna see what my other cities need. I'm going to build a barracks in Faraspa uh, just to train early infantry. Uh, in Coteus, I'm going to build a mine. That's going to boost my income, and uh, I still want to make a lot of income before I do anything rash. Because I don't want to declare war on anyone and then lose money. Alright, so... I moved that army that I talked about back into my capital, and I'm going to retrain it. Uh, I still got some fog of war to uh, get rid of by watchtowers. Um, oh my god, that army still hasn't moved. Uh, at this point, I'm just going to send my diplomat to the Greeks. Probably take a lot less longer to just wait for that army to move. Alright, so I'm gonna end the turn again. Yep, the rebels have finally taken that watchtower right here because I can't see them anymore. And when you put your curse over it, it says, although it says Armenian watchtower, it says uh, brigands or like rebels in parentheses right after it. That means they've taken it over. Alright, so my army has been retrained. I'm going to take it out once more. Uh, and in 
my capital, I'm going to build a militia barracks. That sounds good. Alright, let's do this double pincer thing and crush this rebellion. What units do they have? Um, they've got two archers, two eastern infantry, a peasant, and a Pontic heavy cavalry. So, pretty much the same as the uh, other rebellion, except a little more troop quality. Uh, clear victory. So, the rebellions have been crushed. Um, once again, I'm going to have to retrain my army. Uh, the horse archers have taken a few losses, and they'll need to recuperate. Um, 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 um. Oh, that's what I forgot to do. I'm going to send my general out of Raspa to build a watchtower, so I forgot to do that. Um... Alright, now that I have watchtowers built in Armenia, I'm going to send my spy into uh, Assyria to spy on uh, Hatra, the Seleucid town that I'm probably going to attack next. I don't want to attack Pontus just yet. Uh, I want to make an alliance with the Greeks if possible. Because Pontus always declares war on the Seleucids and uh, the Greeks, because they're on like this mission to like conquer Asia Minor for some reason. They're pretty stupid, actually. Um, 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 yeah. Oh, well. The Seleucids have finally sent a diplomat to me. Uh, they've offered me trade rights. I'm going to take it. Map information. They say yes. I'm not going to offer them an alliance, because, like I just said, I'm going to attack them. Most likely. Um, Alright, so my mines have been built in Coteus. My militia, or my barracks, has been built in Fraspa. I'm going to build a wall, or a wooden palisade, in Fraspa just to uh, boost the public order and also to uh, keep the settlements safe from attacks. Alright, so I move my army back into my capital. Uh, I've got a new general. Uh, he's not that good. Uh, he doesn't have anything special. He's only got like a one star command, so... Oh my god, I'm not that popular. A rebellion has uh, popped up in, near Coteus. Um, my guess it's probably all... Eastern Infantry, due to the uh, banner that the Rebels carrying. You can tell uh, how many men are in an army by like the color in its banner. If the banner is like, completely filled with color, that means uh, that the army will most likely have either units that have like 120 men, such as like pikemen or warbands, or Eastern Infantry, or it has like 20, all 20 unit slots filled, so you might want to lure that army into like an ambush or something and try and like destroy it. Alright, so I sent my spy into Hetra. Um, I'm going to have to deal with that rebellion soon. Um, yeah, and turn... Ugh, I hate when this happens. I forgot to move my diplomat, so he was taking a little while moving. No, I don't want another general. I've got plenty. Oh, wow. Alright, the Scythians have been besieged uh, Coteus. Kind of odd. That's never happened to me before. Um... Yeah, see, Pontus has declared war against the Greeks, uh, Scythia against me. So, I'm at war with Scythia, so now I might have to rethink my strategy, and I might have to develop a preemptive expedition force to go into Europe. Uh, so I'm going to crush this rebellion real quickly, if I can, and then move against the Scythian army, so stay tuned.